Hey everybody, we're going to take a quick look at a sound design tip here for Reaper. It's using automation items to make an animal chitter type of a sound, but you can apply this to all sorts of things. So here we are in Reaper, we have this pig groaning roar thing. <laughs> Lovely. So with this pig squeal, we have the volume envelope exposed here. So now we're going to go down here and option drag to create an automation item. And that doesn't change anything at the moment, but what we're going to do is double click this item. It'll bring up this automation item properties window. And we're going to go here and change the LFO shape to something like triangle. These are all just rough, quick examples. This makes one cycle. So what we're going to do is make, let's say let's make 19 cycles. So this is going to adjust the volume envelope like this. Let's take a listen to that. Probably want something faster, so let's do this. Something like that. We can come to amplitude and adjust the how how deep. It goes. We can also adjust the baseline, shift it up and down. The other thing I really like about this is you can do things like frequency skew. So you can speed it up at the beginning and slow it down at the end like this. Or vice versa. And you can also tilt it like so. You can also skew the amplitude in either direction. You can also treat this automation item like a regular item so you can stretch it. So once you got those parameters set like you want, you might want to tweak it a little like this. You can also trim it like a regular audio item. Stuff like that. Pretty cool.